Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, Infinitely Guided to Row. I am CJ. How you doing, Aries? I hope all is well with you. I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy. I'm wishing love, light, peace, and blessings to you and your families. I just want to say thank you so much for all of your love, your continued support, your donations. They've all been greatly appreciated, so thank you. Newcomers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. If you have been intuitively guided to the message, there is a word in it for you. Personal readings are also available. The information is listed below in the description box along with my email address if you need assistance. So, Aries, this is going to be your love message for June 2020. Watcher, you're also welcomed here. Let's remember that the tarot energy is fluid. It can speak to your past, your present, or your future. It can speak directly to you or experiences someone who is energetically connected to you will feel, okay? Rose can be reversed, flip flops, transposed throughout the message. Don't hold on to the gender nor the zodiac. These can be accurate, but at other times, it can be all point, right? It really doesn't matter. It's all energy, okay? And it's mostly about the message from spirit. The bottom line is it is the message from spirit, right? So only take it as it applies. Only take it as it resonates, okay? So, Aries, when I was tuning in and channeling your energy, what I felt was a little bit tight in the shoulders, like thinking, overthinking, overanalyzing, you know, um, some tension, but inward tension. I don't feel like, you know, whatever is bothering you is not being discussed too much, okay? Um, I do feel like uh, someone is contemplating, reflecting, and trying to figure out if they made the right decision in a connection, okay? I also... I also feel the energy of someone trying to create an exit plan, okay? Like, they don't want to hurt anyone. They want to do what's fair for everyone, but they want to leave, okay? I feel like, um, I feel like y'all feel real good, too. Like, you know, physically, I feel like you guys are coming out of isolation, so to speak. Now that the, um, maybe it's because now that the, um, you know, the stay-at-home thing is kind of being lifted a little bit. You guys are feeling much better. I don't feel like you guys did very well during the actual lockdown period. I feel like you guys are actually getting out now, getting out and about. And I feel like, you know, y'all are getting your swag back, right? Your, your groove back. Like, I feel like you're looking good. You know, you're looking handsome. You're looking beautiful. You're, you know, you're back to your fiery selves. Um, but I do feel contemplation energy. Okay, real reflective energy like, did I make the right decision? Or how did I get myself in this, you know? And now it's hard for me to get out of it. All right, anyway, let's see if that's the message spirit wants to uh, come out, okay? May it may not be, all right? Today I'm using the Psychic Tarot deck along with the Psychic Oracle deck, okay? And this is going to be the overall energy of what's driving this message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus people. This is the energy that is driving the message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus people, Holy Spirit. Messages of love, truth, and guidance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus people, for their greatest and highest good. And anyone who has been intuitively guided to this message, Holy Spirit, messages that resonate and that are clear and accurate for my Aries babies. I love y'all. Okay. This is where it is. This is where it is right here. All the spirit messages of love, truth, and guidance for my Aries. This is for Aries. Aries. Clarity. See? Clarity of belief. Okay? That's what we have. What's the message? What's the overall energy for Aries? Someone has a Venus people, Holy Spirit. What is the overall energy for Aries? Someone rise and Venus people, Holy Spirit, thank you. Okay. Let's see. So, this is that introspection. This is Seek in the Oracle deck. This is the Hermit. This is the Hermit. Going within, reflecting, getting grounded, okay? In isolation, right? Introspectively, okay? Um, seeking the truth within themselves. Okay, out in the park, grounded. It's all about the heart chakra here, okay? And the vision forward, right? Looking within, um, getting the download with spirit. This is a very spiritual card, okay? Some of you may be meditating, may be getting out in the park and um, 
exercising yourself, whichever way you do, right? Meditation can take place in all shapes, forms, and fashions, right? Um, and for my male Aries as well, okay? Finding a way to get grounded. If you're not doing that, then that would help you, okay? Um, it's the heart chakra. It's also the throat chakra. A conversation may need to be had with someone or with your spirit guides. They're always there to guide you, and they're just... You know, standing by waiting for us to ask for their assistance. Okay. Yeah. But that is the. See? And it's a nine, right? It speaks of near completion, right? Nearly finding the answer. You'll find the answer soon. There's some type of clarity. Okay. You see how his heart, his hand is on his heart. The card actually came out. Okay. Clarity of belief. Like I said, um, it's like, did I make the right decision, right? Maybe, you know. What was happening in the beginning is not what's going on now, okay? Something like that. But it's definitely about the heart chakra. It's definitely, um, you know, the throat chakra, the, the third eye chakra, okay? And I feel like this person just wants to be free and clear, right? Clear about what they want to do here. It is a one as well. Yeah, see, we have the light came out. This is the sun. I don't feel like someone is super happy. Maybe you're not getting all of the sunlight that you need, literally, okay? Going out into the sun in the park, um, you know, taking in that energy will really believe you as well, okay? Some of you may need to take, you know, maybe suggested that you take vitamins or some type of natural um, supplement to bring your energy out, okay? But for others of you, this is about happiness, the light, it's the sun, it's happy, happy, joy, joy, and, you know, turning this around so that you can be completely happy, okay? There's some happiness here, it is on the it is on the table, right? And it's still the sun, okay? The sun is happy, but not completely happy because it's not upright, okay? That's what I'm getting with that, and it's all about the heart chakra, yeah. It's about love, it's about feeling loved, right? Giving love, opening yourself up to receive love and to give love to ebb and flow of give and take, right? The heart chakra. If you want to work on the heart chakra, um, the that would be great, okay? That would be super duper great. Um, I believe for the heart chakra, I think it's VOM, V-O-M, I believe. But you can look it up for yourself. I don't want to tell you the wrong information. Someone is being asked to work on their heart chakra to decide what's truly going to make them happy all the way happy, not halfway happy. Spirit God Source only wants the very best for us. Full abundance, full wealth, full joy, full happy, right? Not halfway. And someone is seeking that within themselves, okay? Seeking clarity. And that's exactly what I felt. All right. So, Holy Spirit, what cards do you want me to use for Aries? Someone like the Venus people, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I'll use this one, which is the Angel Tarot. It's like an oracle. I think it goes really well with these cards here. Yeah. Um, heart chakra. <clears throat> the word is yam. Um, Y-A-M. Yam. Yam. You can use a sound, um, sound, sounding bowl with it. Okay. Singing bowl. But, you know, it keeps bringing me back to this heart chakra. How does the heart chakra get blocked, right? By stress, by overthinking, by emotion, you know, your emotions, right? A bad experience, okay, that we hold on to. All of these things. So, Spirit God Source is really asking me to um, say, you know, work on your heart chakra. And if your heart chakra is wide open like this, okay, you're going to know for sure, for sure, that you're unhappy. Because I feel like it's not totally unhappiness, okay? It's not like depression or anything. The happy card is here on the table, okay? And this is Spirit God's source. Like, he is the light of the world, right? So, it's not complete happiness. You know, it's not complete sadness, but it's not complete happiness. That's what I'm going to say, okay? And someone is looking within themselves because they know that. I feel like the heart chakra is already open for something or someone. And that's why it's almost like a sacrifice is what I'm feeling. Um... You don't want someone else to be unhappy. You want things to be fair, right? You want things to be fair. And so it's almost like you're sacrificing your total happiness for someone else. And the heart chakra is already open. But for others of you, um, this is on the board to uh, ask you to continue to work on it, continue to keep your heart chakra open, or to work on your heart chakra. Okay? All right? And you will find clarity and you'll know. You'll know what to do. Okay? That's what I'm, that's what I'm being told here. Okay, hold this spirit. 
Let's finish clarifying the card. See, taking action for fairness, okay? Taking action. This is the Three of Pentacles, and it talks about collaboration and working together, but this card here, it says action. And this card here is the Angel of Justice. I mean, um, of Integrity, okay? But this is the Justice card, right? So yeah, definitely. Holy Spirit, thank you for that. Messages of love, truth, and guidance for Aries. This is for Aries, Holy Spirit. For their love message for my beautiful Aries, Summarize and Venus people, and anyone who has been guided to the message for a word, Holy Spirit. Clear and precise messages for Aries, Summarize and Venus people, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Aries. This is for Aries. This is for Aries. Ten of Pentacles. There's a family, okay? There's somebody here that you've built with already. Like I said, this is a a relationship that you're in but you want you know you want your legacy you want um you may want a new time pentacles but i definitely feel like this is telling me that you know you have a family that you've already started building with someone and you know like i said others of you you definitely want to get to your ten of pentacles right who doesn't the wheel of fortune holy spirit let me get um eight cards please the chariot so you may be dealing with any of the fixed signs okay leo um you could be dealing with leo taurus scorpio or aquarius a cancer okay a leo and a virgo here we have so far then we have the nine of wands reverse and the two of wands reverse holy spirit can i have four more cards please what is the message for aries someone rising venus people holy spirit judgment that's the fire signs. That's you, Aries, making a judgment call. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bottom of the deck, the five of cups, sadness, right? Sadness. The eight of swords, feeling, see? You don't want to have a guilty conscience about making someone else sad, definitely, okay? You're feeling trapped because you don't know how to make this move. I truly feel that. Okay, someone may be holding on to you, okay, with the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Yes. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who wants to be acknowledged, wants to be recognized with a part that they play in a connection. Okay, this is a person who is an entrepreneur. This is a good wife, a good, um, you know, mother, right? It's the mother of the children who takes care of the children, nurtures the children. She's practical. She's grounded. She is the one who's the ride or die. She'll stick by you even though some craziness is going on, right? But all the while, um, maybe suffering in silence, you know, that person who's going to stay, stay there, stay put, is what I want to say, okay? And this person may not want to let you go, is what I'm feeling, okay? For others of you, I feel like um, this could be you. Oh, yeah, some of you may have pets, but this could be you um, trying to discover how to get your new dream, right? The Ace of Pentacles in her hand. I feel like that one coin in her hand. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, um, I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles for me is the, I have a dream. I have a new idea, okay? So somebody contemplating for other people, but there's something binding you, okay? And you're trying to keep control of the situation, but can't, something like that, okay? All right? And yeah, see the King of Swords, decisions being made here, okay? At a crossroad, okay? About leaving, right? And, you know, spirit is here giving you patience, giving you guidance, trying to, you know, have you tap in and tune into spirit so that they can guide you. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone has a new idea about love. Is there someone else in the picture? Because I do feel kind of a third energy here, maybe contemplating on the past. Okay. With the king of, king of pentacles, the ace of pentacles and the page of wands. It's like you have a new idea about love. Okay. You have a new idea about love. Or you're thinking about how it used to be with this person, with the queen of pentacles that I just showed here, okay? Some of you may be in a marriage, all right? Yeah, some of you are definitely in a marriage, but some of you um, may live with this person, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, um, that's what I'm getting, okay? Just trying to put the cards back where they were. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, that's from the bottom of the deck, but we still have a whole lot to do. Okay, so someone is going within, being introspective, trying to find out the way forward through spirit, through their inner self, looking inside for the truth, okay? They might isolate themselves, close themselves off, okay, from the world, from being distant in the household, okay, or even from family or friends, okay, being kind of quiet, all right, because they want to move forward towards their destiny. They may feel like um, they're not where they want to be, and they may have to make a judgment call. Okay, for others of you, this is talking about the past. 
This is talking about where you saw yourself going in the past and making a judgment call, okay, in the past to be with someone that now you're trying to figure out either how to move this thing forward the way you want it to be in your partnership here with the Two of Cups here and the Chariot, okay? Someone may want to move this forward but don't know how. They want it to be the way it was in the past, okay? But others of you, there's somebody from the past coming, um, coming forth. Somebody from the past wants to reconnect with you. Okay, and it got you feeling like, what do I do? Because in your new relationship, you're not really that happy. Not new, but in the relationship you're in, you're not really, you know, completely satisfied. Okay, you used to be determined, uh, maybe given this um, connection, chance after chance after chance, there's really been uh, hard work. Okay, and some people have been together for a while here, but now it's like um, almost, you know, given in, I want to say giving in and standing up for your own self, for your own beliefs here, wanting to take action. If you see this on the board, this Knight of Wands, which is Aries, right? I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands is like Aries, right? Okay. Well, how do I see this? It says action here. If you can see it on my board, the King of Wands is looking towards the past at this judgment call of the past and this partnership, okay? The Two of Cups from the past, okay? Someone being mysterious, thinking about it, keeping their thoughts to themselves, keeping quiet about their thoughts. And the King of Cups, right? He's the commitment card here. He is balanced in his emotions. He doesn't really show his emotions on the outside, but he's soft and really has a lot of love on the inside, right? This King of Cups here has their cup readily available, right? And this King of Cups is also looking to the past, okay? Now, the Knight of Wands, you know, that's that player, player, player. Goes after what they want. They go first and think later. Okay? So, I feel like somebody from the past may be around you, you know, around you. Okay? Or you're thinking about someone from the past. Okay? And you're going towards them. Okay? But you're not telling anybody about, you know, these inner feelings that you're having. Because you're not telling anybody how you feel about this current relationship that you're in that's not really making progress here, okay? You may feel like it's stagnant and not making any progress, but you're refusing to stand up for yourself. Well, that's what you need to, you know, that may be what you need to do. Let's break down the cards, Holy Spirit. Let's break down the cards. For Aries, someone likes to be this people. Yeah, I feel like in the past, the relationship that you got in, the judgment call that you made in the past, for this relationship that you're in, for those of you who are coupled, you saw it as... Um, this is where you're supposed to be. This relationship is going to go move forward quickly. Um, the person you were with wanted this relationship to go quickly as well. They were like, come on, move in. Let's do this. Let's do that. Like, y'all have plans. Y'all kept it moving. And, you know, um, you felt like you were victorious. Y'all have a lot of passion together. Y'all are soulmate material. Okay. Um, somebody was still in their player, player mode. Okay. But I feel like this went really quickly. Like, it just progressed really quickly. Okay. But somewhere along the way, something changed because what was super happy before joy, joy, happy, happy is now in the reverse. So something happened. Maybe somebody feels like it's one-sided. Someone's taking care of everything, okay? Doing everything, okay? And still not, you know, doing so much and still not getting to where you want to be in this connection, okay? Mm-hmm. For others of you, there's somebody from the past that you ghosted, okay? Or they ghosted you, all right? And left them feeling sad, okay? Left them feeling sad. Left them feeling trapped in their head, like, what did I do, okay? All right? But somebody made a decision to um, to do this, I believe, because of family, okay? All right? That's what I'm, that's, that's really what I'm feeling here, all right? It was a, I feel like it was a three-party situation and a decision was made. Maybe somebody got pregnant or something. I don't know what happened, but something happened. And um, you decided to move forward with this particular person, okay? And now somebody is looking back at the past, like, did I make the right choice? <clears throat> did I make the right decision? Because this, this relationship here is imbalanced, okay? This relationship here is imbalanced, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. Messages for Aries, Holy Spirit. The bottom of the deck, somebody is manifesting, okay? Someone is trying to manifest this 
flow that they want, this new cycle that they want, closing on a cycle and beginning a new cycle and wanting to move forward, but not feeling like that they, not feeling as though they can, okay? And feeling, you know, indecisive, feeling stuck. What is this Wheel of Fortune for my Aries? Someone has to do this people Holy Spirit, please. Give the message for my Aries, Summer Rising Venus people. Mm -hmm. Somebody in the past, when they decided, okay, so it was a three party situation in the past, okay? Somebody decided to move forward with someone else, okay? They decided to move forward with, they, put, they picked the person. They ended up having children with them and building with them, okay? Now, they're in their head, not telling anybody about how they're feeling because things have changed in their heart of heart. Things have changed, okay? Things have changed within their heart. That's why they're seeking clarity so they can be happy, okay? And it's all about the heart chakra. Somebody was in a relationship in the past with a couple of people is what I'm feeling, okay? Yep. Player, player, energy. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're free and single. You're dating this one, dating that one. Okay? And you made a decision. You made a decision on which way to take this wheel. Okay? You felt like it was the right decision. All right? More messages, Holy Spirit. But somewhere along the way, something happened. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the way, something happened. Somebody made a judgment call that now they are kind of regretting. Okay? I also feel like somebody from the past that you weren't speaking to for a while is back in the picture. Okay? All right? Somebody you wasn't speaking to that you was on mute from, okay? And I feel like it was a part of somebody that you that you um you was with before, okay? In that three-party situation, okay? All right? They are they are um, I'm sorry about that my cat. <laughs> they are coming to you. They they've They've been gone for a while, and either they're coming towards you, and it took a long time for them to come towards you, okay? They're very attracted to them. They are charming. Um, they're sedu seductive, okay? You guys have chemistry. There's a lot of passion here. A lot, okay? A lot. A lot of passion here, okay? And y'all used to be together, mm-hmm. But, um, you know, somebody else is in the picture, and they want to, or you want to, both of you, reverse flip-flop, just suppose, I don't know. But somebody wants to bring something back to life with this judgment, okay? And they want to take this forward victoriously. They want to move fast. P perhaps um, someone is going behind someone else's back or something like that. And somebody, I feel the undertone that somebody is saying to them, well, why don't you just, you know, tell this person? Or why don't you stand up for yourself? Or why don't you, you know, for other people, um, you know, clear boundaries are not being set with this person because they're feeling welcomed. They're feeling welcomed, okay? All right? They're feeling welcomed. Okay. Stop, Prince. Stop. I'm sorry, guys. Stop, Prince. Okay. Stop it. All right. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. All right. So what I'm trying to say is, this person is galloping back into your life, and I don't see you, you know, stopping them because they're kind of irresistible to you, and maybe you know you're reconsidering like what you, what you, you know. The judgment that you made in the past. Okay? I feel like somebody is torn. For others of you, this is just um, somebody that you already got over, that you already healed from, and everything like that. Who's now coming back into your life and is stressing you out. But I still don't see you getting rid of them. You know what I'm saying? I don't see you telling them, nah, this ain't it. I'm not doing this. Like, shutting it down. I don't see that. I don't see that at all. Okay. What is this judgment, Holy Spirit? What is this judgment? From the past, the angel from the past. See? The page of cups. The five of pentacles. The ace of cups over the two of cups. The ace of pentacles over the two of cups. The queen of cups. And remember, I said this queen, this king of cups is with this high priestess looking back at the past, right? Looking this way, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. So... What I, hear, what I see here so far is, in the past, 
there was a judgment call, okay? But somebody who's blowing the horn bringing this back to life or they want to bring this back to life, okay? Somebody may come back to somebody apologizing for the way things ended in the past. Remember I said I feel like somebody ghosted somebody? Both people felt it, okay? Both people felt this loss, okay? I, oh, I don't really go over signs like that, so let me just go over the signs. You may be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, okay, a Scorpio, a Aries, um, a fire sign, um, or a Capricorn. It could be anybody. Anybody. Okay, guys? Anybody. What I see here is somebody is coming back with an apology, offering their cup. This cup has something in it. It's not an empty cup. Although it may be a small offer because this is somebody from the past, right? They may be offering an apology. They may be offering their love. This might be that he, he, ha, ha, somebody new, you know? Somebody new popping up from the past. I'm seeing the past here, okay? But for others of you, this could be somebody brand spanking new with a brand spanking new offer, okay? And it may have started out like a friendship, okay? But there was some flirting and some, some kind of love here, but there was a departure, okay? There was. There was a departure. But somebody now wants an um, equal give and take partnership with you, okay? This is soulmate energy here. Okay, I do feel like there's somebody else in the picture because there is still this, there's still this three-party energy going on here. Okay, but someone is offering a potentially long-term, stable, loving, abundant opportunity here. Okay, all right, that's what they're bringing forth to you. Okay, and I feel like they were. Missing you, truly missing you. This is a loving person. This is a kind person, okay? And I feel like they're taking action to come at, towards you or you are doing this towards somebody else. Somebody has locked eyes on somebody, okay? Past or a new, a new, um, a new situation here, okay? All right? For others of you, um, in the past, there was a lot of breaking up and getting back together. A lot of breaking up and getting back together, okay? And then... Um, as you move forward, there was ch there were children, okay? Children, there may be, have been a promise of um, engagement, okay? All right? But now someone is feeling stressed out because it's not happening the way that they thought it was going to happen. It's not the ha happy ever after, okay? Now things are, you know, moving really slow. Although you have a lot of passion with one another, it feels very on and offish, like the energy is up and down, Okay? Okay, kind of stuck and stagnant. Okay, all right. And somebody is having somebody has some secrets. Okay, someone internally knows that you know they have an opportunity somewhere else. Someone knows, and I feel like it's the person who is um, it's the person who is okay. How do I say this? It's the person who gets out and gets out and moves around a lot. It's not the, the queen of pentacles who sits at home and does this and home and wears many hats and takes care of the kids and cooks the dinner and goes to work and comes home and feeds the birds and animals there are, okay, in the household. It's the other one going out. Now, it could be male or female, right? Men do the same thing. There's definitely a different person here. There is. There is. There's another person here, okay? And um, for some of you, it's this queen of cups is sad because they know that they're king of cups. It doesn't matter about the gender. Roles could be reversed, but they're sad looking at their cup, emotional, because they know that they know that their husband is, you know, or significant other is moving in a different direction here, okay? Moving in a different direction, getting attention elsewhere, okay? Getting attention elsewhere. Let's see? The king of wands on the king of wands, okay? All right? Now, the, the other person may be the, um, the queen of cups. And the Queen of Wands knows, okay? But I really feel like, you know, it's, it's one or the other, but I feel like the Queen of Wands um, is confident enough that, you know what I'm saying, after time has passed by, they're still looking good. They're still feeling good. They're um, still creating new stuff and doing, you know, they're, they're, they're spunky, spicy, that they will come forth and, and you know, with this Queen of Wands and King of um, Knight of Wands energy, they may be, you know, running into each other. Here. Somebody's running around. That's all I got to say. Okay? Somebody is. Y'all tell me in the comments. I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, I told you. Somebody knows. So there's an argument. So there is an argument. There is conflict. And there are ego. Right? Somebody's playing games here. Okay? Strong and wrong. Arguing and wanting to fight and everything. Right? Strong and wrong. 
Yeah. What's the rest of this message? How we start it? What's the message? What's the message? Somebody's juggling, definitely. Okay. All right. So we have strength, eight of swords, and the king of pentacles. So we saw the queen of pentacles earlier, right? So there's definitely a true pair here, okay? We have the queen of cups and the king of cups. Now we have the king of pentacles and we had the queen of pentacles um, before, okay? So with this energy here, I feel like somebody is trapped in their head. They don't know what to do. They're trapped in the head. They don't know what to do because they have a family they've built already with this person. And they do care about this relationship. It's not that they don't care about this relationship. It's just that they're feeling stuck and trapped. Okay. And I feel like whenever they do go out and do this and do that or whatever, there's an argument when they get home. There's an argument when they get home. Somebody is juggling. Okay. Someone is, wants to take a brand new, somebody wants to do a brand new thing. Okay. But they are, they are trapped. Okay, because of children, I feel like, okay, because of children, because of the family, okay, somebody else is the partner is also worried and stressed because they know that this person is moving funny, okay, somebody has options here and somebody is trying to manifest what it is that they want, this new, this new thing, but they don't want to leave anybody sad and regretful because, you know, they have, they, they feel like they have a happy home, but <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? Whenever y'all talk, there's an argument, I feel like. There's some type of arguing going on, okay? Okay? That's what I feel. There's some type of arguing going on. Mm -hmm. Some type of arguing going on. Because um, the other person also feels like they... Place yourself where you fit. I don't know which, which person it's who. But somebody feels that... They're constantly getting backstabbed, no matter what it is that they're doing. So they're, they are feeling like this is stuck, okay? They're feeling trapped in their head. They're trying to balance themselves and figure out what to do so that they can be completely happy. But I feel like this, um, they, want, they want two of cups and a brand new start in an old thing. That's what I'm getting also. But mainly, I'm getting that the past has come back around. The past has come back around. The past has come back around. Okay, Holy Spirit, that's what I have for you guys. So let me, Holy Spirit, can we get out the tell all truth cards for Aries? See, this is a love of a lifetime. Okay, are you in or are you out? Messages for Aries. Summarize the beast, people, Holy Spirit. Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries, some of us Venus people, Holy Spirit. Yep. Somebody knows, and there's always an argument. And it leaves somebody feeling and they feel it here. Call them. Self love. You already know. It ain't over. That's what I had at the bottom. Oh, it ain't over. And love, 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 love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aries, Holy Spirit, is there anything else for Aries? 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 Is there anything else for Aries? <laughs> Somebody said, you know you want me. Stop playing, man. Aries. Somebody said, you know you want me, okay? All right? Okay. Now, let's see here. Holy Spirit, I'm bringing in the... 
Rome has angels cards for Aries, some of us are angels people. I'm bringing in the romance angel cards for Aries, some of us are angels people, Holy Spirit. I'm bringing in the romance angel cards to speak to Aries, some of us are Venus people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Aries. What's the message for Aries, Holy Spirit? Oh, goodness gracious. Ooh, this nose be itching. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Why am I getting there for some of you? This may be, um, yeah, I just said that, right? Some of you, this is someone from the past that you broke up from or ghosted. Okay. And you guys have a pause. Okay. Free yourself. It's time to take control back from your life. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And at the bottom of the deck, codependency. Ooh. That would be a good reason why somebody, you know, stays halfway happy and not completely happy, right? Codependency. And passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Under that past life relationship, you have known each other before. Come on, spirit. Talk to him, spirit. Okay. Now, let's bring out the monology card to speak to Aries. Holy Spirit. Let's bring out the monology card to speak to Aries. Summarize and Venus, the Holy Spirit. Speak to Aries. Monology card speaks to Aries in regards to this spread. And anyone who has been added to the message, Holy Spirit. Let the monology card speak to Aries. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Aries. What do you want to say, Aries? What do you want to say? Anything else from the Aries? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Confidence is the key to success. It's at the bottom. Bring love into the situation. Adjustments are required. So bring love into the situation of the new moon in Aquarius. Adjustments are required is the third quarter moon. And hold your vision is the fixed moon. Mm -hmm. A new start is coming. Okay? A new start is coming, the new moon, and look at the bigger picture. It's time to release negativity. Okay, now. Power of love. Speak to Aries, please, through the power of love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The power of love card. Speak to Aries through the power of love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's the power of love for Aries regarding this spread. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The message for Aries. Power of love for Aries. Speak to Aries. Speak to Aries, Holy Spirit, for power of love. That's the message for Aries, for the power of love. Aries. Purpose is at the bottom. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love, purpose. You guys are some beautiful people. Of course you do that. Joy. Yes. You need joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. That's an Aries. Y'all are full of, full of spunk. Y'all are always helping other folks. Always thinking of the next person. But don't get on your bad side. Satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are satisfaction come on spirit speak spirit trust you have a strong connection with your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition trust purpose and gratitude you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that the loving that life lovingly presents to you okay so this is what i have for you aries i hope it was very helpful Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Aries, I know that you're going to look within. You're going to make the right decisions. Give yourself happy, okay? Whatever happy is for you, all right? I love you so much. Love you to pieces. Please take care of yourself and others. Namaste.